Hey y'all, so we're gonna get into this supply list and everything that I packed to come here. Um, I pretty much just went based off of what I saw in the BBL surgery groups um, and also what I saw people posting on YouTube. So it was a little bit stressful, but I got through it. I think I, don't, I didn't wanna overdo it, but at the same time, I didn't wanna, you know, not get enough. I do still need to go get doggy pads because I know they say that um, in Airbnbs and in uh, hotels, people be trying to charge her if they see any inclement of blood. So I'm not trying to have that because this Airbnb is nice, but it was a little pricey for what it is. Either way it goes, um, we're going to get into it. I got some pads, shower liners, and shower curtains that I got from the Dallas store. I also got tape so that that can... I guess go with the pads tape around me and my boards and something like that. I got some sports bras so that, you know, I can have some comfort. I already have back problems from my daughter and my son. So got me quite a bit of air, um, sports bras. I'll be talking too fast. Sometimes. I got some boy shorts. Hopefully this is okay for me. Um, I will update when I get the surgery. I'll let everybody know in this video if this is okay or comfortable in my comfort zone what i had but uh yeah i also saw somebody get one of these pill planners which i thought was actually a good idea because i'm not sure what to expect with this you know surgery and what all i'm gonna have to take i know somebody did say to get the pm um tylenol so i did get that because i need to sleep and if my sleep is disturbed i'm gonna be upset so i'm pretty sure i'm gonna have like two of those and each of these things <laughs> um flushable wipes i got flushable wipes i saw this in a surgery group um and i saw this on somebody's list that they posted in the surgery group so i just decided to get it i was just being an amazon little crazy freak because i got prime so i was thirsty to order everything so that it can come within a couple days so i got the avocado um pool float because hopefully i don't have no problems with this bed but at the same time i, I am going to want to transition um between having you know laying on my stomach and laying on my back so i'll let y'all know how this is an update y'all with that i got my faha i got my bbl pillow this one is kind of cool though because it actually it folds so i guess for traveling purposes and snap right back just like that i believe it was only like i want to say 40 dollars on amazon i ordered everything that i got from amazon even my uh faha i had a hard time finding a faha because everybody in the world getting a bbl so them things were sold out so um hopefully this one is okay i know with the place that i'm going to they are going to give me one but um this was like 80 dollars or 70 i want to say i don't really remember however compression socks y'all i found compression socks at walmart both of these both of these at walmart i was gonna order online and go through all that struggle but no i didn't even need to do all of that i also got this just in case um i'm not sure about you know reviews on it but i was taking anything that would help me it's the earner care so i'll update and let y'all know how that is i also had to get the hybrid cleanse i ordered that from amazon i got a bunch of dial soap the bar soap um to clean up with and my i need to open it yet i should have been excited to open it but 
I got my little urinal from Amazon. <laughs> and of course, it's a female, female urinal. Oh, I didn't expect that. Okay. This how big it is. And I guess this little thing go at the bottom. There you go. Look like a little funnel, like for your car, but it's for a girl, the JJ. And it's through this brand, but it's through Amazon. This was, I want to say, $50, $70. Don't quote me, I might be wrong. But anyway, I'll um, tag everything that I got off Amazon in my uh, description box so that you don't have to worry about, um, you know, looking and searching for it, which I'm pretty sure won't be a problem. But I'm a person that I like to give people the correct answers straight shot. Um, I brought my laptop to I'm welcome. Look at the tree. I'm down here on Ocean Drive, walking, enjoying my last little bit of time that I have to walk. I'm tired. That airport wore me out, took me out. <clears throat> it's so beautiful outside. It's so nice. It's like 80 some degrees outside. And the palm trees. It's so pretty. This is my third time coming to Miami, but it just is always so beautiful. <clears throat> trying to eat. Trying to eat good before I can't really eat. I got me a whole fat ass steak. A lot of chitel. I have some wings. I mean, some uh, mozzarella sticks. Uh, you need to hurry up with my food. Because the bitch ain't about to play. I'm mm hungry. -hmm. Right on time. Look at that juice. I want to touch on um, the process of me getting everything set up to do surgery and me coming down here to Miami to get myself ready for pre op and everything. So I'm gonna just fast forward, well, actually rewind <laughs> back to when I decided to go ahead and do the whole BBL thing. After I had my daughter, like I gained a little weight. You know, I always had problems with gaining weight because I played basketball and I always had fast, fast metabolism. I'm already like tall and lanky so it just never worked out i tried the whole appetiment thing i tried working out i tried just just naturally eating i tried just not exercise i just try, i felt like i tried anything and nothing even worked for me so i'm like forget it i got a little extra weight i can go get me a bbl and i noticed some little rolls at some places that i did not like and i'm like mm -mm, that ain't cute we not doing that <laughs> especially not with no uh another baby okay i'm not gonna be sitting there looking all you know muffin top and whatnot that ain't cute so back in i want to say january i made my mind up i had been talking about this for so long like i just didn't have the weight to it was hard for me to do it and i always would be like i'm gonna just try to work it out i'm gonna try to do something true to do that but it just wouldn't work out so Back in January, I went ahead and I know two other people um, in my family that went to this particular doctor, which is Dr. Oliver Simmons. He was at New Life Plastic Surgery in Miami. It's, well, Coral Gates, Miami. As they like right by each other. But anyway, um, so I see, I saw the results personally. I go on Instagram and I see everything. I'm like, uh, okay. But when I saw personally, like the two people that got it done, I'm like, Oh, yeah, I got to go to him so he can snatch me up. So I'm like, um, I'm going to just go to him. Originally, I was going to go with Dr. Williams. I'm not going to lie. He is the GOAT to me. Like, the way he have your body snatched is bomb.com. But he was booked until 2022. And I was being a little thirsty. I'm like, I want to kind of hurry up and get it done. And, you know, I wanted to give myself like that Mother's Day gift. You know, for myself, I just had a second child. So I'm like, this is my Mother's Day gift to myself. So booked him. I can say with booking him, it was like a headache. When they want your money, they're going to get in contact with you. But once you give them that money, girl, bye. 
you gotta call and call and call and message and email and everything because once they got that money they don't they don't really pay you any attention and it's not to really bash them because i do hear that majority of plastic surgeons it's not really the surgeon it's their staff or you know so many people in the united i shouldn't say people girls or whatever the case may be want to get plastic surgery done so you know you got to take that into consideration i'm a real considering person i'm a real person who like try to always think on um, on the other person's point of view you know i'm not a selfish person so <clears throat> i always i'm like okay you know it's how many states you know so many people could be coming from all over everybody doesn't go to you know dominican republic or go anywhere else miami is the capital for bbls like so um i'm like okay i went through three coordinators so far up until today may 5th um and it was it was nerve-wracking but it was, it was, you know, it's fine. If you're a patient person, I have patience. I, I'm a hairstylist, so I have patience. But if you're a person that don't really have patience, like, you're going to be, like, chewing your nails off and doing whatever you got to do to get yourself at ease with dealing with this whole process because it is very nerve-wracking and time-consuming and, you know, stressful. So, um, I had, um one lady she took my deposit um then he moved over to from new life to beyond plastic surgery beyond beauty plastic surgery i'm sorry and i had another lady then she took my deposit but i did make the deposit at new life it which was shut down but my um deposit did carry over to the new place and then i had to pay an additional 500 dollars to <clears throat> lock my day in at that particular facility so you know that was a little iffy i'm like should i pay some more money or should i just wait because y'all not about to play with my heart right now. Good morning i'm on my way to pre-app y'all so they can mark me up and know where they gonna take what from where and put it right in the right areas i'm super excited but i'm getting nervous now but um I don't know how to feel i feel anxious but at the same time i feel scared because i ain't never been through nothing like this before so i don't know and i'm kind of hoping like i have good results like i don't want to like look like i don't have nothing but at the same time i don't want to be out here looking like no aunt either so you know I don't know, but either way, I just have to update y'all, let y'all know I'm on my way to pre-op, y'all. They, they, they been on point, because at first it was a struggle when I was getting out here. I had to cuss them out a couple times, but they was on set, though, that I woke up late. I be, y'all, this Airbnb bed feel lovely. I've been trying to sleep, get the best sleep I can, because I heard, like, your sleep gonna be off. You ain't gonna be able to get the best sleep, and when I heard that, I was like, oh, hell no because i love to sleep <laughs> but i woke up at like nine and um i got to, i want to do stuff before i can't do nothing you know like every time i came to miami i didn't get a chance to jet ski so i want to jet ski and i want to be able to eat because i'm not going to be able to eat for a certain amount of hours up until tomorrow whatever time uh they're going to schedule me for to come in tomorrow but I want to do stuff before I can't do nothing. I think I want to go out tonight, shake the last of my little real ass before the fat get there. <laughs> It was real cute in there. I'm going to upload it after this video. But them girls in there was looking like zombies. I'm like, that's how they in there with their robes. Like, uh, I'm like. <laughs> I've been shopping all day. I'm so tired. I got tears in my eyes from yarning. Um, 
Where we at? We went to like two outside malls. I got me some uh, shoes at the other mall. And we ran into Pooh Shiesty, y'all. Pooh Shiesty. We ran into him outside of Chrome Heart uh, store. Um, and so we are at Bafford Shops. I believe that's what it's called. I'm not sure. But anyway, we here shopping. I'm tired. We got to go get uh, my boyfriend aunt soon. Very soon. So we need to actually leave here so we can get her. I did get my um, text stating that I um, have surgery at 6 a.m. I'm not sure if I'm the first one or what, but I'm actually glad because I don't want to be in there all day. I want to just get it over with. I want to, and then you can't eat for a certain amount of hours. Like I can't eat past 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. So I want to make sure I eat enough because I heard you're not going to be able to eat as good as you were or normal, whatever the case may be. Um, I went to pre-op today. Pre-op was pretty smooth. They just pretty much took my payment um, and went over everything. I had to sign all my documents and everything. Um, I was in there like looking like, oh my God, this how it is. But like going in there made me feel like, dang, it's really real. Like I'm really about to do this. But other than that, being there, that whole transaction was smooth i didn't have any problems with that other than you know getting in contact with them up until your day but hopefully everything tomorrow goes as planned everything is smooth i'm gonna be recording when i um when i get there before i get there and prepping the night before i'm just super excited i'm nervous all in one everybody has been messaging me texting me talking about how they're excited for me i'm so happy and thankful that everybody is excited and praying for me sending their prayers up now before i go but um yep let's get into the next scene uh, so it's 3 30 in the morning my surgery is scheduled for 6 a.m i just took my final shower I can't put on no smell good, no lotion, no none of that. I had to take off all my jewelry. Well, I, I actually got to take my nose ring out. And I got to take my lashes out. I already done put my hair up, my little bun, so that I can be ready for tomorrow. Um, I'm about to get all my stuff together so that I can have all that ready. My robe, they said to only bring my robe, my slippers, and I'm probably just going to have both of my phones one so i could record and um the other one so i could still post on my snap um but yeah today was a good day i'm still mad i didn't get to just but i got to shop do some shopping and stuff did a little walking around i ate i had to stop eating by 10 o'clock um my last meal was terrible i had some popeyes and that popeyes was so nasty like if you live in Waukegan and you're watching this, that food was worse than the Popeyes on Lewis, England, Florida, honey. Like, I'm so mad my last meal was disgusting. I wanted me a good meal to remember, a good meal to think like, oh, my meal was so fat when I got done, but mm -mm, that was not it. But anyway, whatever. <clears throat> I'm so anxious. I'm so nervous. I'm anxious and nervous all at once. My boyfriend, friend, keep talking stuff like, oh, you finna have a whole attitude tomorrow. You finna be asking for everything tomorrow. And <laughs> he said he rubbing it in like, oh, you finna be blue. You finna be pissed. You finna want to do this and too bad you can't. And all kind of stuff. But yeah, y'all, y'all ready to see it? So I'm ready to see it too. I'm, I'm very, very nervous. I'm getting anxious as the time is going down. So, I will see y'all in the next scene. Okay, y'all, I'm in this little room. Um, I just have to change all my clothes, put the little shoes on, take my drug tests and pregnancy tests and everything. This room is so cute. Get ready to meet Dr. Simmons. It's 6.25. I'm so nervous. I'm super scared. I just got like a scared. I was smiling ear to ear. I just saw Dr. Simmons. It was like I saw 
a fitness person or something. I was so happy. I was so excited. Still scared, but I will let y'all see everything afterwards. I'm out of surgery. I had surgery like seven something this morning. I got out pretty fast though. I got out like nine, nine thirty ish. I'm just laying here. I took my medicine. I met my doctor. I was so excited to meet him. I was cheesy from ear to ear. But I'm just laying here. Y'all see it? My booty. <laughs> I get a pain level like a, a 8 out of 10. It's mainly like my butt stinking and my stomach a little bit. I guess because you got to lay on it. My hips and then my back. I already got back problems, so I expected to have back problems and it hurting and stuff. But I did it. I woke up like hallucinating. I was like, like I was, I got nervous. Like the whole process. Um, I got there at six. It was me and two other ladies, and <clears throat> when um they went first. They put me in the room. I had to take my drug test and everything. And I was waiting till about maybe like 7 something. And they took me back. Um, and when they took me back, it was like really intense. Everybody was on the move. Everybody was like on their job. Boom, boom, boom. It was one and done. And they laid me on the table, strapped me down, put my arm on the arm separate across. Like I was on Jesus' cross or something. But, um, yeah, they put my IV in, put the little nose thing over me, well, mask, and I guess that was what the anesthesia came out of, and, um, I don't know, after that, I was knocked out, I was asleep, and I, when I woke up, the surgery was done, so, I was like, oh my god, I made it, I, I was like, am I happy, I woke up, <laughs> But all in all, it was a fast experience. My boyfriend kept saying um, everything happened fast, which it did. But I'm excited to see my results. But for now, I'm going to update y'all as every day goes. And, um, yep, I'm going to lay here and go back to sleep. I'm waiting to eat right now. I can't wait to eat. I hope I can eat a whole lot because I'm starving. But you're going to see in the next scenes. I'll see y'all in the next scene. I'm about to go get my first massage. I'm on my way to my first massage. I can't walk normal at all. It's not too bad though. I've been being real strong. I ain't cried yet and I'm a cry baby. So that's surprising. But This stuff hurt. I feel s stiff. Like I can't really walk.
keep going down a little bit more nope down put your foot down so Hey y'all, I had my first massage today um, at 7 this morning. It was hell. It hurt so bad. Um, it hurt because they have to open your incisions a little bit more so that they can massage, I mean get the stuff out. So she took a Q-tip and dug the Q-tip in my incision to open it up some more, which that really stings. Like it stings real bad. And after that she gotta like put some hot not hot but real warm um oil on you and massage your stomach I almost passed out two times when she was doing it because i didn't eat and i didn't take my medicine so i would advise you eat and take your medicine before you go make sure you stay hydrated i've been drinking nothing but pineapple juice and water but that massage was hell and then when she got to my back like, I lay on my back how I am now, but they got to open your incisions. I got one, like, right at the top of my butt, and she had to dig in there, open it up. And basically, all the fluid in my back, she had to move down. But when she get closer to my butt, she had to, like, use her, like, thumbs and, like, really pu pull it out, like, push it out. So you hear it, like, gushing and stuff. I was like, ugh, oh, my God, but... All in all, it wasn't that bad. My pain tolerance been still like it's going down. So I say like a six right now since I had the massage and I'm getting ready to eat again. I've been walking around a lot. It's best to walk around so that you can get your um blood circulating and everything. That's how I'm looking now. Yay. I got a diaper on though. <laughs> I got a diaper on because I didn't want to get no more blood on me. I had my first shower today. It felt so good. I finally looked at my body and everything, and I love it. I'm just ready for the swelling to go down and the fluff fairy to appear so I can see how I'm going to look. I'm so thirsty to buy clothes so I can look good in them. But, um, yeah, my shower, I used my hybrid cleanse on all my where my incisions are. So it won't get infected and then like I use my dial soap like you know in my areas or under my arm stuff like that but everywhere else where my incision was it was important to use the hybrid clean so it don't get an infection in them because they are going to keep opening them I think so that they can you know get the stuff out.
but I will show y'all. I'm gonna try to show y'all when I get to my next uh, massage. I'm gonna try to show like how they do it if I can. But if I can't, then I'm just tell y'all what it, what happened that last time. So see y'all in the next soon. Drive. I feel okay. I don't really have too much um pain or nothing. My butt is just uh like I got fluid at the top of my butt because I was driving today and I was supposed to be not driving. So I will get back to y'all soon in the next one. I'm tired as fuck. I got my water though, but I'm tired as fuck. I did too much fucking walking. I'm out here with my compression socks, how ghetto. But I wasn't finna risk my stuff being messed up and my circulation being messed up. Trying to be cute. I'm gonna sleep so good tonight. I'm gonna take a nice hot shower. I got my massage tomorrow, my second massage. And I can't wait for it. Back on Ocean Drive. I feel sick. I waited too long to eat. And I, um, I've been napping throughout the day, but we've been in the car all day. So I need to hurry up and eat. I do not feel good at all. Let her go on your shoulder. Oh my Let, God. Girl, be quiet. Okay. She ain't gonna do nothing. Okay. Face your fears. Hold my hand. Okay. Okay. I'm next to you. Face your fears. She talks to you. She gonna talk to you. Now you wait. Both hands. Wait. Both hands. Wait. Both hands. I'm tired. So. I got my boards and my phone today. I guess the phone. Go back here for your back. You get one phone board, two board, and then a board right here. You gotta make sure it's all the way up because it's a little zipper thing right here so you can pee and use the bathroom. I had that problem my first night and I actually pee all over my fire. Life is too short to waste time doing things you don't absolutely love. And I've met a girl like you before. Oh my god. Because I didn't know that a Negro woman television producer existed and that is all I ever wanted to be. Okay, I guess that's how I go, but it got me all soaked and compressed in. I'm going to go to sleep. I got to sleep in this stuff. And I go home tomorrow. So I will update y'all on my flight back home. 
and let y'all know how that goes. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad, but I gotta get him my last massage tomorrow morning before I leave. And after that, I'll be back home, back to my normal life. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired, so. See y'all in the next scene. I'm looking crazy, but good morning. It's my last day. So I'm ready to go home. I'm trying to clean the Airbnb because the boys trashed it. So I'm just gonna enjoy this little weather for a couple minutes. I'm outside walking. I got my boards on still. It feels so good out here. 45 degrees in Chicago. I don't want to leave this beautiful weather, but I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go home. I woke up in pain in the middle of the night. Um, that pain don't mean no joke. Like, it's not really pain. It's more so soreness and stiffness. Like, my back, I already have back problems because I got an epidural with my kids. So, um, my back, like, gets stuck. And it is not a good feeling. But however, I woke up, I actually did cry today. Once out of this whole process, I cried, which was today, because my body was so stiff and sore. Like, when that medicine wear off, it hits you like that. Like, oof. I was like, oh my God, and then for you to be knocked out in a good sleep and you be woken up out of that, that is irritating. So, I'm ready to go home ready to go um back to georgia um i can't wait to see my kids i can't wait to see my mom my grandma i know everybody gonna be thirsty to see my booty <laughs> all my friends i miss my friends too I, I miss them a lot um but yes it's time to go home i have to go get my last massage hopefully this like put me at ease before i get on this flight because i don't even know how this is about to be but I'm gonna talk to y'all in the next scene. So I'm getting my third massage. They sculpted me on a massage. It's not as bad as the first one, but this is the result. She's been taking good care of me. <laughs> And I'll let you guys see the rest. <laughs>